So let's say I want to do a multi-pass render from Cinema 4D. So I have a scene right here with lights, uh, transparent objects and shadows. So let's do a multi-pass rendering of this scene right here. In order to do that, I'm going to go into the render setting right here. And over here, you see an option called multi-pass. So let me check that on. So in multi-pass, you can um, select separate lights and so forth. But over here, what I want to do is I want to separate, let's say the transparency, uh, let's say I want to separate the shadows and so forth. So it's easier for me to uh, work around in compositing software. So for that, I'm going to go to multi-pass and here are the channels that you can render out. So let me select RGBA as the first channel right here, which simply means all of the things, all of the components burn out into one image, just like a regular render image. This is what I'm going to use as a reference. So I'm just going to keep that. I'm going to go to multi-pass and here, let's say I want to use specular as another render layer. So specular, another uh, layer that I want to work around is with the shadow. So I'm exporting out the shadow as well. So let's see the other one that I want to export is reflection and refraction right here. I also want to export, let's say, global illumination right here. And these are the layers that I'm going to export out. There's also material specularity, uh, spe specular uh, and mat material reflection, as you can see right here. So you can choose around any of the uh, passes as, as you want. So I'm just going to stick to these ones right now. So once I'm happy with that, what I have, I'm going to go on to save and over here, uh, I'm going to choose a location. In my case, I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to select this folder and save it in multi-pass as test. So I'm just going to save that out. But this is just a regular image. The uh, I, I want to save my, I want to save a multi-pass image as well or multi-pass images. So I'm going to go over here for that one. I'm going to go to file. I'm just going to go over here onto the desktop on the same folder. I'm going to save it as test multi and I'm going to save it as multi-pass files right here. So the format that you see over here uh, is uh, what you have to choose accordingly. So right now, uh, the format that I suggest you to use is Targa or PM, PM or Photoshop file that is PSD. So it is right here. If you're planning to edit everything in After Effects, then PSD will do a good job. Or if you want to take it into another compositing software, then Targa might be what you want. So let me render out in Targa first. And you can choose the bit depth as well. Right now, it, the bit depth is the default one, as you can see. So Targa for this one and this one. So let's render that out. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to click on render and let's wait for a while. I'm going to fast forward the video so it renders everything out. And here you can see that it is rendered now. So let's go on to our folder right here in multipass. And here you can see that there are multiple files right here, which are in Targa format right here. So these are just different files with different channels. So to composite, uh, we're going to use After Effects in the further lesson itself. So these are just different files. So let me just open this out with Photoshop right now. And let's see how everything looks up. So everything is loading as you can see. So over here, you can see that this is a multi. So this is a uh, global illumination, as you can see right there. I'm going to import out everything. This is specular. This one, as you can see, let me just drag out this file right here. I'm going to place this out. This is the illumination, as you can see. So these are just different sort of files right here. So these are, this is just these, um, refraction right here and this is a reflection as you can see so all of them are in different channels and you can coordinate them together but to have them in different file uh, like this may be beneficial if you want to uh, composite them in other softwares but if you want to use photoshop or uh, after effects then you are better off exporting pdf so let me just do uh, just that so i'm i'm over here let me just close this out i'm going to set the export option into PDF now. So not going to save a regular image for this one. So I'm going to, going to save everything as a PDF document. So I'm just going to select PDF. You also have a higher channel to select from. I'm, I'm just going to keep it 8-bit so that it's uh, easier. You, you, you have to select multi-layer file right here. If you turn this off then everything uh, just now again, um, becomes one single file right there, which does not make sense. So I'm just going to keep it as PSD right here, multi-layered file. 
and I'm going to render this out again. So I'm just going to render this and our PDF file is rendered. So now let us go back onto our folder. Here's the PDF file. So if I were to open that out using Photoshop, let's see how it looks like. And there you go. So there is our file right here with the fraction and everything. So seems like I forgot to render out the background right here. But anyways, you see that each and every file right here is stored differently in this folder right here. So just like that, this is how you can work around with the backgrounds and everything. So there's the background. There's uh, the other files right here, like specular, and you can work around with each and everything just like that. So refraction, reflection right there, global illumination, shadows, specular, and so forth. So we're going to look at how to composite this in After Effects in the next lesson. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.